tonight. They'll hand the baseball to Ryan Nelson, 26 year old right hander, who had some impressive outings last season and now ready to take that next step. Chase the high slider. Good fastball, good slider for Ron Nelson and a good start. He comes into this one riding a career best 37 game on Bay Street, dating back to August of last year. 3 1. And there's a walk. The on base percentage goes up. Well, his approach seems to be rubbing off on the rest of these New York hitters. And there's a base hit here in Arizona. Soto makes the turn. He'll stop right there as Carroll gets the ball in. Now, the one thing the Yankees didn't do in Houston was score early. They didn't take leads early. Innings one through six. They were outscored 11 to eight. In the air to center, Corbin Carroll out there tonight. Soto halfway to third, hustles back to second. Now he tags up. And that's out number two for Ryan Nelson. And he walked him to load the bases for Verdugo. Well, that's definitely what you did not want to do. Go to a full count with the bases loaded. Everybody will be in motion as this pitch is delivered. Three and two on Stanton. Walked him. Now it's full on Verdugo. Here they go. Popped him up. Suarez coming in from third. Gino's got it. And Ryan Nelson survives. Yeah, Luis Heal has a big fastball. He gets first crack at filling that rotation spot with Garrett Cole out with elbow trouble. It's Cattell Marte. Did he go? No, he did not, says Chris Siegel. And Marte works a leadoff walk. 0 oh, 2. Did he go? Oh, yes, he did. Carroll down on strikes. Well, Juan Soto named the American League Player of the Week last week. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is the National League. High pop up toward the roof. All four infielders converge. Cabrera calls everybody off to make the play for the second out. Swing and a miss. 100 miles an hour. Blew it right by Walker. Four for 10 so far. A home run, three runs scored, four walks. Lined into right center field. It is a base hit for Volpe. Cutting over is Carroll. He'll cut the ball off. Going for two is Volpe. He's in there with a leadoff double. High in the air, pretty deep right field. McCarthy in front of the warning track, backpedaling. He's there. Volpe will easily tag and head for third. And that's the first out of the second. Oswaldo Cabrera is the third baseman. That's nine. With a lineup full of stars like that, Oswaldo Cabrera is leading the team in home runs right now. You wouldn't expect that with a team with Soto and Judge and Rizzo and Stanton, but that's the way it is. Fly ball, shallow right field coming on McCarthy. He's going to dunk in for a base hit. Holding up is Volpe. He will dart home. He'll score. It's an RBI single for Cabrera. And the Yankees are on the board. They lead 1 0. Everything's coming up roses for Oswaldo. Labor Torres wraps one into left center field. That ball is going to be in there for a base hit. And it goes all the way to the wall. Cabrera will score easily. It's an RBI double for Torres. And the Yankees lead 2 0. Second full count in the inning for Ryan. 50 pitches, 29 strikes. Fly ball to the left. Guriel backing up. Torres. Faked it out. Now it gets away from Suarez. Glaber Torres had gone back to second base, however. Two big guys like that that are just waiting for you to throw the next pitch. High in the air, left center field. And who wants it? Guriel will call off Carroll if the two looked at one another. Here's a 3 0 to Rizzo. And it's low ball four. Rizzo at first after the leadoff walk. Called strike three. Put the fastball at the knees, and Stanton knew it. Verdugo with a good at bat works a walk. So two walks in the inning for Nelson. First and second for the Yankees with one out. As a base hit up the middle. Rizzo will round third. They'll send him home. He'll score. Verdugo goes to third. It's an RBI single for Volpe. He continues his hot start, and it's 3-0 Yanks. Wells lofts one to left field. Verdugo will tag. Catch is made by Guriel. Here's the throw, and it's wide up the first base side. It gets away, and that allows Volpe to go to third. Now he'll get up, and he will score. The Yankees making the Diamondbacks look bad on that one, and they're up 5-0. That's an E7 right there, and here comes an E1 on the throw from Nelly, backing up the play right there. Yeah, E7 like and E1. Front foot slid out a little bit as he tried to make that throw from the warning track next to the uh, on-deck circle. Well, you can read by that smile. Anthony Volpe, two for two. His speed got him to third. 
then the bad throw by Guriel and the subsequent bad throw to third, and he ends up scoring. Well, Jake McCarthy leads off the bottom of the third inning. First pitch, swinging a line drive to right field. Soto can't get to it. It's down for a base hit. A good start for the Diamondbacks, their first hit of the ball game. That'll work, a single and a base on ball. Second walk for Luis Heal. And here comes Marte. Needs some base runners down, finds it. Get back in this thing. Sure smells like a bottom of the order rally coming up. That rolls away from Wells, and everybody moves up. Doesn't take much with those two on the bases. Two. Cattell slaps this one out. It's carrying to left for Dugo to the warning track, backpedaling. This will get one run home. Jake will score. Perdomo stays put. The RBI for Marte, and the Diamondbacks are on the board. Soft ground ball, second base. Torres there. Moving to third is Perdomo, two away. Swing and a miss. For Arizona, one run, one hit, and one left. After four innings, three walks, 5K, 75 pitches. Yankees have Luke Weaver up in the bullpen. They don't want to push heel that high pitch count-wise. They'd like him to get these three outs and at least be eligible for the victory. Down goes McCarthy, one away. Ground ball, Torres. Two away here in the fifth. Aaron Boone has seen enough at 84 pitches. Wins don't mean anything, David. That's Heel's reaction when he sees Aaron Boone coming out of the dugout. And he gives way to the former Diamondback Luke Weaver to get the final out of the fifth inning. That one has a chance, and Cattell just shoots it the other way by Cabrera. That's the second Diamondback hit. And Marte aboard for the second time after he walked in the first. Hit sharply and grabbed there by Rizzo. Steps on the bag, and that'll do it. The pitch swung on, a fly ball. Walker with a fly ball to shallow right. Coming on as Soto slides and makes the play. Well, we've seen it in the batter's box. It's Soto shuffle sliding in on the defensive side. Moreno, McCarthy, Perdomo, 7 8 9, due up in the bottom of the seventh. Moreno gets it started. That's going to bounce all the way to the warning track, and it's going to get to the wall. Gabby's on the move. Go, Gabby, go. He's headed for third. That is in there. Boy, Aaron Judge wasn't exactly busting it to try to cut that ball off, and it got all the way behind him. Go, Gabby, go. He's got sneaky speed. McCarthy digs it. Gabby going to have to oh. stay put. Rizzo can't make a play, and everyone's safe. Moreno saw Rizzo get to the ball. Gabby went back to third base, and Rizzo booted it. Looked like Rizzo was checking on Gabby at third base and maybe just took his eye off the ball. Luke Weaver never moved off the mound. They might have still been able to get it out had the pitcher been over there to cover the base, but now the Diamondbacks have it cooking. McCarthy takes off, and that one hit Domo. Moreno at third, McCarthy at second, Perdomo's at first. Marte will hit. As the time run at the plate, they're loaded with no outs. And you've got to get something in this inning. It has to be at least two runs. Marte lines it right at Soto. It almost sailed over his head. Moreno coming home. McCarthy into third. The RBI for Cattell makes it 5-2. to two. Popped up. Oswaldo Cabrera with the call and the catch. Big out. Two away. Well, if there's a guy you want up in this spot with a chance to tie the game the way things have been going, it's Lourdes Gurriel Jr., the National League Player of the Week. Line drive, left field. On the run is Verdugo. That ball was in on the nose, too. But Verdugo was right there. One run. Three outs away. Yankees will send Victor Gonzalez to the mound. Popped up. First pitch. Rizzo. That's in fair territory. One pitch, one out. The major league debut for 23-year-old Jorge Barosa called up today. Barosa gets it in the air. Hits it pretty deep. Left center. Jorge Barosa's got his first big league hit. A one-hopper over the wall in deep left center field. Way to go. Popped up. Rizzo again in fair territory. This should do it. Ground ball to Cabrera. And the Yankees win their fifth straight to open the season and become just the fifth Yankee team in history, dating back to 1903 to start a year at 5-0.